In this video, we're going to go through some common mistakes that get made in drawing resonance structures. And I want to stress there's no shame in making mistakes along your path of learning organic chemistry. It's something that we all do. And if you actually haven't been making these mistakes, if you don't recognize any of these mistakes, this might actually be a bad thing because you haven't been doing enough problems from the textbook or from your course notes. So I'd stress that nothing wrong with making mistakes. I've made every single one of the mistakes that we'll be going through here. And the point of this exercise and these series of exercises is gonna be to see if you can figure out what's wrong with each of these resonance structures. So what I'd like you to do is press pause, look at the examples I've drawn here and try and figure out if you can figure out what resonance structures, uh, what's wrong with each of these different resonance structures. Okay, so let's go through this one. This top one here, we've got this alkene, and it's in supposedly in resonance with this product here. What's different? What's wrong with this one on the right? Why is this not actually a resonance structure? Well, notice that this is not a balanced equation. Okay, so we have a different number of atoms. In fact, this hydrogen here has kind of been added out of nowhere. And remember the resonance, we're only moving electrons. We're only moving electrons. We're not adding or subtracting any atoms. So th this is not a balanced resonance equation. So we, we can't, um, this is not correct. Now what about this? Uh, we could actually make this correct by how. Okay, well we can get, certainly get rid of this, this hydrogen here. Okay, and what would be a valid resonance structure is if we were to say move a pair of electrons over here and that gives us a negative charge. Okay, so what about this resonance form on the left, the resonance form on the right? So what's the problem here? Again, it's not balanced. Why not? Because we've actually, if you count the electrons here, we've got, we could move this pair of electrons down from the nitrogen to form a double bond, like so. And this double bond, we'd move this pair of electrons to this carbon, but we've actually lost a pair of electrons here. We're missing electrons that should be on our carbon. So we should draw in this pair of electrons and a negative charge. So now this is a balanced uh, resonance form. So remember you can't, so your bottom line here is you don't gain or lose electrons or atoms. That's very important when drawing resonance forms. Okay, let's look at another example here. All right, so what's wrong with these resonance structures? Again, you know, it would be good if you press pause, looked at them yourself. When you're ready, press play, we'll go through them. Okay, so let's have a look. There's actually a couple things wrong with this, this resonance structure on the left and the one on the right, uh, what could be the problem? Well, okay, first of all, hopefully you'll see that we've got too many electrons around our nitrogen. There are too many electrons. An exclamation point. Notice we've got 10. That's not legal, can't do that. And the other thing is it's also not balanced. So notice how there's two hydrogens on this side and one on this. So, um, so not balanced with respect to R W R T with respect to atoms. So how could we modify a few things to make this more of a balanced equation? Uh, well, we could do one thing here. Let's uh, we could let's say if we wanted to make this legal, we could either remove a hydrogen or we could remove a lone pair um, to make this legal. So let's, um, let's see, well, let's make it like this. So we've got, this would make it a negative charge on nitrogen, okay. So now we've got two lone pairs, this would come down and that would make our double bond like so. And then these both would be neutral. So now this would be balanced. Um, so now we've got eight electrons around nitrogen and we've got eight along nitrogen on the right. So, okay, so now that that's okay. 
Now, what's wrong with this one on between the left and the right? Okay, so everything seems to be okay with this oxygen. It's got the right number of electrons, right? We've got a carbocation. Now, what's the problem over here on the right? Well, again, too many electrons. Too many electrons, we've got 10. Bad. So that's actually going to break the octet rule. We cannot do that. So it's important that, you know, it's 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 not balanced, in other words. It's not balanced. We could make this balanced if we got rid of this pair of electrons, let's say here. Okay, actually maybe we'll just get rid of this. It doesn't really matter. We could get rid of either. Just aesthetic decision. And then we would have to have a plus charge or a positive charge on the oxygen. Then this would be okay. So pair of electrons goes down to there. Actually, let's draw a different color here. So pair of electrons goes down to form a double bond. And this forms our new double bond between carbon and oxygen, positive charge on the oxygen. Okay, so now that works. Good. Okay, let's do another set here. So press pause, look at these resonance forms, see if you can figure out what's the problem, and then we'll, you know, when you press play, we'll go through it. Okay, what is the issue with this resonance form on the left versus this resonance form on the right? Well, notice how we've got an oxygen which has an oxygen hydrogen bond here and then we have an oxygen which is just oxygen bonded to itself you know to, to double bond to carbon in other words we've moved or broken a sigma bond a single bond between oxygen and hydrogen so the problem here is a resonance form we can't break single bonds Only, only pi bonds or double bonds. So this is not this is not a valid valid resonance form. These are actually isomers of each other. If you pay attention to notice how we've moved this hydrogen over to the CH two over here. So these are actually isomers, but not resonance isomers. Okay, um, there's not really any really easy ways to fix this. Um, we could, let's say, we could have made this a negative charge here on this oxygen. And let's say we draw a double bond coming down and another double bond breaking that double bond going up. And then that would lead to the uh, carbon now would have an extra lone pair where it didn't before. So this would actually be a balanced equation, uh, balanced resonance form. That would be okay. But as drawn before, they're, they're, they, they are um, not resonance isomers or not resonance forms. They were just isomers. Okay. And what's the problem with this resonance form on the left and resonance form on the right? So-called resonance form, let's say. Well, Again, if you draw in the implicit hidden hydrogens here, look what's happening. And you might even look at the bonds that form and break just to sort of give you a clue at what's happening. So if you call this carbon one, two, three, one, two, three, notice how we've broken a bond between C2 and hydrogen, we formed a bond. Um, oh, my mistake. We've broken a bond between C1 and hydrogen, and we formed a bond between C2 and hydrogen. So in other words, again, we, we've broken single bonds. Um, so this would not be a legal uh, resonance form. Okay, so these are, again, these are isomers, but they're not in resonance with each other. And I don't even really know how to fix this uh, from resonance. So we'll just leave that be. 
So again, you can't break single bonds, only pi bonds. And that's the issue with the, the top example, which we rubbed out, and the bottom example. All right.